Now, when it comes to generating more intricate shapes, the same shortcuts that we've learned can apply, but there are actually even more fun ones that we can add to this. So we're going to come up to these tear out tools again, and we're going to select the star tool, okay? Now, we're going to keep the cursor held down for most of this, so don't let go. We're going to click and drag and just start out by drawing a standard five-point star. That's the default, okay? Now, if we hold down the shift key, we can constrain it so that it's straight. And if we also hold down the option key or your alt key on the PC, we can constrain it so its edges are straight, okay? So it's more of a uh, sort of a patriotic star, if you like, all right? So something that's uh, got more definition to it. But I'm gonna let go of those for a minute, keep the mouse key held down because I wanna show you something else which is pretty cool. There's two keyboard shortcuts here that we can apply. First one, I'm just gonna drag the shape down and then, whilst I'm still here, hold down the command key or your control key on the PC and drag. Have a look at what happens. You're actually now changing two radiuses or radii, I believe is the correct term for that. So this allows us to construct a completely different shape. I mean, it doesn't even look like a star. It looks more like a, a burst or a, a, a snowflake or something like that. And this is simply scalable up and down just by holding down that command key. Now on top of that, if I just let go of the command key but keep the mouse held down, you can use your up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to increase and decrease the number of points that are actually on this star. So this is entirely interactive and all being done on the fly. We don't have to bring up a dialog box to specify this, although we can. You can just simply play around with this and get exactly the look that you need. So this is pretty cool. I, I like the fact that you can go down on the numbers take it down to three and drag out a little bit. You've got, you know, a Mercedes symbol, very easy. Okay, so very cool and, and quick and easy to change these settings. So like I said, we can pull up a dialog box and that's really got what we're going to do. So you can let go at this point, just delete that shape. And once again, we'll position our cursor over the center of our wheel because we're gonna generate a star here, which is representative, if you like, of the spokes in our object, but it's, it's gonna stretch beyond that and fill the page. So make sure you hold down your option key or the alt on the PC to center your selection and and click to bring up the dialog box okay so now we've got the star ready to draw from a center point and we're going to be very specific about our measurements here I'm going to change radius 1 to be 310 and that will basically take it to slightly larger than our A4 document and I'll change radius 2 to 5 millimeters so it actually matches the 10 millimeter in total circle that we have in the hub now more importantly we're going to change the number of points I'm going to make this an even 16 points okay so I'm just hitting the tab key there as well so you know to go between each of those options so when you've got those set, just go ahead and click OK, and you can see that custom star shape has now been created perfectly centered on our wheel graphic at the bottom. Now, whilst it's cool, it's also very much in the way, okay? If we go down to view all artboards, you can see it naturally spreads across all of the elements. Now, later on, we can see ways how we can cut this or trim it or even mask it. But for now, we simply want to put these onto layers and make sure that they are locked and hidden so we can see what we're doing. So let's go back to our main selection tool, hit the V key so we don't create any more stars by mistake. Come over to our layers palette and let's come down and create two brand new layers, okay? So using your keyboard shortcut, remember command and option or control alt on the PC and hit L to bring up the new layer dialog box. The first one we're going to name star, go ahead and click OK and we'll bring up the same dialog box for a brand new layer and call this one wheel, all right? Now the star is currently selected and you'll notice over here next to backdrop color we have this red dot that shows us that we currently have an item highlighted, okay, it's selected. We can then click that and drag it up onto the star layer, okay. Now we can double check it by locking it and hiding it, all right, we've done a good job there. Now we can do the same with our wheel. Let's click and drag across these outer circles to select those and then we'll hold down the shift key and grab the last one here in the center. Likewise, those are now all highlighted by the single red dot. We can drag this up to the wheel layer and do the same thing, lock it and hide it. And now we've got the freedom to move around and continue with the rest of our artwork.